Michael slash Vitesse. Hey, uh. And we're starting a new journey. So here we go. A new and fantastic journey in a world we've been to before. Kind of. It, it's kind of? A, kind of. It's not Phil Gaia? It's still Phil Gaia, but welcome to the world of Wild Arms 2. So, uh, this kind of plays into some of the lore is that while, uh, all the Wild Arms games take place all on the same world. Just mm -hmm. very, very, like, differing uh, at different lengths of times and places. So, so we are going back to the same world, just not the same time. Yeah. So Okay, so my, my statement from earlier is correct. Thank you for incorrecting me. Yeah. I'm also going to do a quick audio check to see if we're getting we're double audio. The same world, just not the same time. And yeah. we're getting triple audio. Oh, okay. Yay! So my, my statement I'm joking, I'm not listening. Correct. Thank you for incorrecting me. Yeah. Uh, as far as I can tell, no. You're good. So. I try not to listen to myself. Also, welcome to another anime intro. So. Yay! It's an anime intro. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> that might have actually been close enough in pitch to get us struck. <laughs> so let's stop. I hope we don't get caught, but... It happens. If it happens, it happens. I mean, what are they going to do? Take away our non-existent income? <laughs> And I can think of at least one character. We won't meet them immediately, but I'm pretty sure as soon as we meet them, you'll probably fall in love with him. Oh. Yeah. Fascinating. Like, are we saying fall in love as in this is my husbando? Or this will probably love as in this is her like perfect character. Uh, this will be, I I'd probably put it as maybe either or more likely former than latter, but oh. uh, I I will definitely say he is probably that that character will probably be one of my more favorite characters to have. So oh, so uh, in this case, uh, I kind of flubbed a little bit on uh, the characters for you, Michael. Uh, I, I described it as uh, a militia man, which in the character select screen is a young man ready for action. Okay. The Dits uh, is actually a sorceress just getting started. And the one that I labeled as a war criminal is a former hero, now war criminal. <laughs> Okay, so we got one of the three was accurately described. Yeah. The militia man, it sounds more like he's like the young hero protagonist stereotype. Yeah. And then the dits, I'm presu I'm presuming her ditsiness they hit they didn't put there but will play out pretty quick. Pretty quick because there's a few things in this game that you actually that actually make sense in a weird Gameplay as well as just characterization aspect. So, uh, you mentioned that we were going to start with the dits. So, that's the call I made. Yes. Well, I was given the power of life and death. I mean, of who goes first. Yep. So we are going to start, and I'm going to use the stock names for these characters. With okay. Lilica Elenak. So we start with Lilica the Dits. Oh my god, this music. So, we start here in a weird village that's talking about payment, uh, about mercs. <laughs> you well, I mean, that makes sense. If you have a merc, you need to pay them. Yeah, it's like, you ought to be more worried about a merc who works for free. 
Yeah, her, her. Yeah, we'll be worrying them, yeah, because if they're not charging you, then how are they making their money? Where are they actually getting their money from? Can you trust them? Yeah. I don't know. You can trust them. Okay, and we have somebody labeled Village Elder. Let's plan a counterattack. Mysterious floating box in the sky. I wish somebody would do something. And... Oh. Uh, mysterious girl appears out on the table and starts apologizing <laughs> entirely. And mentions something about, I haven't got quite the neck of this teleport gem. Nudge. Oh. Nudge. Ha-wink. Ha-wink. <laughs> and, oh, I thought I teleported to the wrong place again. Uh, you did. Because this is definitely not the Valeria household, wherever that is. And everybody's like, Ye yeah. By the way, who are you? So, uh, this is Lilka. So, as I stated, I was going to keep the stock standard names. Mm-hmm. Yep. We did say that. And now we're in Lilka's head, and she's like, oh, boy, I messed up. <laughs> but at least everybody here's nice. I mean, what's that old saying? Any landing you can walk away from, right? Yep. But I, I should hurry, but uh, it's fine if I stay the night here. There shouldn't be any problems. So, oh boy, this is this is some interesting stuff. It's like what's weird is how they dump stuff on rice to eat it. That's just so gross. I'm pretty sure that's just. So my immediate reaction to that is, first of all, how dare? <laughs> because I don't eat rice without soy sauce. Oh, they're, they're probably talking stuff like fish, uh, eggs, oh. onto mm. rice. Yeah. Oh, onto, not mixed into, onto? Yeah. Like, we're talking, like, crack an egg open, uh, sun, uh, sunny side up, and put it on some rice? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, there's a market for that. It's not me. There's a market for that. Yeah. Um... That's she... up, for me, that's up there with, like, the fancy ramen that has the soft-boiled egg. And I'm like, or the, um, yeah, like, the hard-boiled egg. Or yeah. Or, like, the sunny-side-up egg. And I'm like, oh, no, that's not for me. Th I'm that's... glad you appreciate it, but keep it away from me, please. I actually do want to try traditional ramen, because that, that egg thing is actually traditional ramen. Oh, yeah, no, I 100% get it's traditional. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not fighting that fact at all. I'm just saying that if I were to get uh, if I were to get ramen at an actual fancy ramen shop, yeah, I would have to say accept none of that, please. Yep, and Lilka has a uh, nice cup of probably hot chocolate. For me, it's just a whole texture thing. Yeah, hot chocolate, huh? That's not code for anything in this one. Actually, no, it probably is hot chocolate. I'm not joking about that. Okay. Uh, I just remember that in the first one there were some coded, there was some coded stuff. Yeah, no. Uh, Lilka is actually 16, by the way. So. I mean, that didn't stop the kids in the first one <laughs> from visiting a bar. True. Uh, and she describes a teleport gem. She's studying magic, and this one I'm just seems to have it in for me or something. Wow, you know how to use magic? Actually, I'm still learning. I'm so impressed. Oh, don't be impressed. Anyone can magic, you know? You mean, even I can learn magic? Of course you can. For instance, you can pick out a loved one's voice or your own name in a noisy room. That's kind of magic, too. Get it? No, I don't get it. 
At which point she just looks at the camera and goes, okay, maybe not everyone. <laughs> no? Oh. But you will someday. Magic is a power that anyone can use. And magic can do anything. So, uh, the dungeon for Lilka is actually a memory. Oh. Yep. Yeah. So. Come on, system. I know you're better than that. Uh, welcome to the L Millennium Puzzle. Oh, sis. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. I can't figure it all out alone. Lilka's sister. Calm down. It'll be okay. Hey, don't cry. Can you see the big switch block behind you? Use your magic on it. It'll be all right. I know you can do it. Bloop. I can't do it. I won't lie or say anything. I'm just not good at it like you are, sis. Didn't you fail in con uh, to control the gate because you didn't do it right, sis? Try starting over. This time, the door should open. Open. Come on. Open up. This time, I'll show you a different method. It'll be fun. This way is easy. So why didn't you show me this way from the start? Well... See, you see the small switch box just below where you are? Use the same method to get your magic to work. Hey, sis, look! It worked this time! There are three switch blocks left. You need to get all of them. Leave the rest to me. I can manage this. Let's review how to handle the fire rod. Uh, side note, uh, you're actually supposed to pick uh, the the youth first. Well, of course you are. That's why I told you not to. Yeah. Uh, so it's basically, this is telling us how to use the tools, uh, the tool system. So Lilka starts with the fire rod. If you press square, your magic turns to a flame and you can fire in front of you. Are you okay, Lilka? I know, I'm fine. This is a piece of cake. So, unlike the original Wild Arms, this game is 3D. Uh oh. So, also, welcome to probably the most jazzing dungeon music ever. Jazzing? Ja uh, Jazzy. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I, I tried to say jazzy and it came out jazzing. Lilka! What is it, sis? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Be careful. That didn't sound suspicious at all. Also, we have say uh, these are the save points in dungeons. This amazing stone has the power to save your adventure to a memory card. Save my game? Don't save. Save here. So, uh, at this point, it asks, like, do you want to continue your game? You can get yes or no. Uh, if we hit no, we get some nice little kind of, like, side stuff. But then we have to restart the emulator. So, we're not doing that. Yeah, let's, let's not. Also, because this game is now 3D, uh, we now have ledge mechanics in a lot of places. And I leave poor Lilka here flailing about like a madwoman. Like a madwoman, you say? <laughs> you know, like a madwoman. So, when you come to the edge of a floor above a drop, your character may make the whoops action. 
in the oops state, you can press the X button to go ahead and jump down. Uh, you can also jump down by dashing off an edge without the oops action. So, it's safer to... To kind of drop down rather than dash down, I presume? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you dash down, you have all that momentum. Who knows where you're going to land? Yeah. So, there are two crystals here to the sides. Oops. And we know JRPG logic. Go the path of least resistance. So, uh, here we have a mechanic called gems. The faintly sparkling jewels of life that restore lost HP. Gems heal all members of the party, but the amount of HP res uh, restored depends on the size of the gem. So small gems, small HP, large gems, larger. It makes sense, yeah. Also, welcome to the new system. Uh, once again, we have 3D characters, but they are a little bit more fleshed out than they were previously. So. Uh, if you happen to notice, we only have an HP and an FB bar now. So. But, as stated, Lilka's a magician, so if she doesn't have MP, how does she cast magic? Uh, oh no. Please tell me it isn't. It's all linked to FP. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna say that it was a 15 style of magic where it's all linked to freaking items. God no. <sighs> but I'm sorry. I liked 15, but that was one thing about 15. I was like, could could you fucking not please? Was yeah. their magic system? Yeah, I don't like. Uh, but by that proxy, uh. Since Lilka right now is level 1, if you happen to notice, she has FP costs. So we have Flame, Freeze, and Heal. And of course, Mystic! Returning from the first game. So, yes, Mystic operates the same way that it did before. Um, I don't remember how Mystic worked before. Well, remember, we renamed all the spells. Mystic was the ability that... Uh, Celia had not not magic wise ability. Oh, the it was the one that's like a dry out ability. Yeah. Uh, so Lilka. Uh, so the force abilities do return. We do have one through four. Uh, Lilka starts with Mystic. Um. But uh, in this case, since uh, the uh, since magic uh, since spells are based off of FP. You have to get your FP up in order to uh, cast magic. And remind me, how do we build our FP? Uh, multiple ways, but it's either by dealing damage, by physical attacks, receiving damage, uh, uh, defending, and but we in this case we do not receive fp from magic or ability points which kind of sucks because for a mage to build up fp she's gonna be doing some non magely things there are some things in uh there are some things that we can do workaround wise uh, that make things easier for us. So. And am I dropping any frames for you, Michael? Or is that just my stream being very weird? Not that I'm noticing. Okay, so that's I'll just... be honest, my attention is split, but I'm not seeing any drop frames. Okay.
so. Hey, look. Vax under stuff. Well, that's no fair. If it's under stuff, how are we supposed to get to it? Okay. Bad. Oh, hey, look. We're already at one uh, at the at the place to do one of the switches. Oh. So. Sis, what's, what happens when I get it to respond? When all the switch blocks respond, the partially open gate gets reset. I can manage that even with my level of magic skills. Right? Good luck, Loka. Two switch blocks will remain. Ah, and if you, and for those that have been paying attention, we just saw um, a new system introduced. Admittedly, like we're probably not going to see it being very active. Uh, at least with Lilka here, because a she's a mage, so she's not very good. Uh, also, welcome Gomes. They're just cockroaches. You. Uh, that hate ice. So let's go heal up Lil Ka because she is uh, very low. Oh no. Oh, oh god! Whoopsies. Okay, welcome the new mechanic the Gimmel Coins. These can be used for one of two things. Uh, one, to pretty much. Oh wait, no, that's later games. In this case, Gimmel Coins are only used for this mechanic in Wild Arms 2. Which is, if you die, you can spend a Gimmel Coin and restart the fight. Uh, you are at max health, but you lose all FP that you've gained and all progress. So you start from the very beginning. Um, do you want me to just spend the Gimmel Coin... Michael, just so we can at least get through this. Uh, yeah, we might as well. Yeah. Well, the gimbal coin, and it's like, yeah, it's kind of a weird live system. So. As long as they don't do the stupid beam stuff, I should be able to heal up fairly decently. Watch, cue the stupid beam stuff. Oh, I'm at 19 this time. And she's now healed to max. Nice, nice. No, there will be opportunities and monsters that we can actively steal Gimmel coins from, by the way. Nice. So. So it's not it's not that we're wasting the item. Yeah. It's just the fact that, like, they're technically hard to come by, but their only use is for this. Mm -hmm. So. And Vilka has achieved level 2. And I... I'm recall... Uh, I'm going to do a quick check, just so we can double check the menu. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, there will be some stuff that I will... That you will... Uh, essentially, like, deal once we get to it. There are no chests in Lilka's dungeon, so we don't have to worry about missing things. Okay, good, good. So, uh, we were, uh, so we're at 30 right now, we pick up a gem, we get one point of health. Uh, if I recall correctly, these are all percentage-based. Uh, je uh, for health recovery-wise. So, like, a small one would be something like 1% or 3%? Yeah. And you just saw the new mechanic in action, uh, if you're paying a little bit of attention. Lilka just got a white exclamation bubble, and... I decide to press circle and cancel a fight outright. Nice. So, uh, there will uh, there are three types of bubbles that will appear. Re uh, a red bubble with white, which is immediate fight. White, which gives you, I'd say, five seconds to cancel it. A and then you have one that's literally a green bubble that uh, will last, like, 10 seconds. Okay, so the white one we can obviously cancel. The red one's immediate, so what's the green one do? The green one is basically the enemy you're going to fight is so below your level that you uh, don't necessarily have to fight it, because occasionally, if you get a green bubble, you will automatically win the fight. Also, ah, so it's kind of like it's kind of like the Earthbound effect. Yes. Also, uh, just so I can point out to Michael, uh, in the status screen, just uh, like we see her FP, but uh, her HP, but notice what her FP is at now. Her FP is at two. What level is she now? Two. So. Oops. That was me being an oopsie. Yeah. Lilka's dungeon is Why full. Why would you be an oopsie? Don't be an oopsie. I oopsied off the edge. <laughs> That's what I said. Don't be an oopsie. Uh. But, uh, in this game, FP is, once again, linked to your, uh, relative level, which means that the higher level, uh, we get Lilka here, uh, the higher her base FP will be. So, I'm not going to try and avoid too many fights for Lilka. Yeah, with good reason. Seriously, those gomes just... Bleh. 
because they've got those lantern eyes. Uh, I'm gonna heal a little cat real quick, since we're in battle and, uh... Hey, instead of trying to find crystals, we can at least heal up Lilka. Oh no, Shock Beam! I'm pretty sure we'll survive it. Especially since it came after the heal. Yep. Also, you'll notice we're getting a lot of heal berries. So... I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Yep. If the items flow, uh, if the items flow like uh, fine wine, then I've got no issue with using them. Yeah. It's when the game's stingy with items. That's when I start throwing things. Yeah, this one. It's gonna be interesting when we get to an item shop. Okay, this is a loop. This is not the way forward. This At least. is not the way. So, yes, I know going back to previous areas. Oh no, an immediate red. We're probably not going to see the green bubble for a while. Well, yeah, obviously, if green bubble is significantly below you, hmm. well, we're level two. There's no such thing as significantly below us. Yeah. So, these blue books are fairly weak to fire, as we've seen, because they're books. Mm -hmm. And Wilka Book is... Burning, huh? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna judge you, book burning, huh? Well, they're demon possessed books. Uh huh. Actually, can I really say anything about that? I've, as many, as much Final Fantasies as I've played, I've definitely burnt a lot of in game books. Yes, you have. I blame Biblios. Yeah, Biblos, uh, page 64, page 32, page 128. Yep. And yes, I'm collecting all the gems because, well, free healing. Yeah. yeah. Especially considering you are extreme on item usage. Oh, no, 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 not the, those, that's right. Those are just the, as soon as you touch them, you heal. Yeah. But still, always good. Yeah. Oh my god, this guy opens up with shock beam. <laughs> Ooh. And only does 14. Well, guess what, boy? Well... 14 when you have 75 isn't necessarily an only. Well, no. He did 4 damage, but uh, I was blocking. Ah, uh, I'm still behind. I thought you said 14. I, it probably came out as 14, but I meant 4. Yeah, I caught up I caught up after you corrected yourself the, the fact that it is only a 4 damage. Yeah. Uh, but the yes. second one did 17. <laughs> I'm really surprised at how many heal berries I'm getting. I mean, I'm not complaining. Like okay. I said, 
if, if you're getting a lot of heal berries, that means that you're going that I'm not gonna get mad at you for using heal berries. Yeah. Okay, so that was a loop. Sorry for getting lost in this. This is, as stated, Lilka's is basically the puzzle dungeon. That's okay. That's the that's the path I chose for us. Yeah. If our entire first two hours are her dungeon, well, that's my fault. I really. That's right. Direct all flames to me, not her, not to him. Not to hurry. Well, no. We can direct flames to her, but... Please don't. She isn't really... She doesn't have a... Um, She's not that she flame retardant. Yeah. Okay. Um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, right, the tower thing isn't until later. Okay, so, yeah, we have to do this one because the other side hasn't opened up. certain charm to the um, design of this game. Yeah. Well, so far we're really only seeing the Millennium Puzzle. Yeah. But I I'm saying as far as like the whole uh, 3D, uh, 3D -ish, ish, like 2.5D yeah. over uh, with an isometric uh, uh, top down. Yeah. Got a book. Well, since we know the books aren't too dangerous, at least to Lilka, we can heal up a bit and. I'm presuming not too dangerous to Lilka because of the fact that she has. A higher innate magic resistance for being a mage. Yep. Yeah, same logical. Basically, if we get Lilka to level 3, uh, most of the stuff in this dungeon starts becoming... Trivial. Trivial. Oh, hey, we didn't kill the book! Oh. So, uh, in this case, uh, we know that uh, 99 does not do enough damage to the blue book. So it's probably a 100 HP. Yep. Uh, this game is a little bit much more open about, like, the FP being a very important thing that you don't necessarily want to use force abilities too much for. Oh, right. Here's where I screwed up. Uh-oh, where'd you screw up? Uh, I kept going you forward instead screen. of, uh, dropping down. Ah. And there we go.
and last cube. All right, only one switch block left. Did really well. I'm the little sister of the one called the Elenac Witch Girl. Yes, that's how her last name is spelled, Elenac. This is nothing. I'm me, and you are you. We're different. You need to believe in yourself more. Lilka, from now on, you need to believe in the magic that is yours alone. No matter how hard things get, you'll be able to overcome it with your magic. Huh? What? Finding faults now? Later. Leave it till later. If I can do things with my magic, I'll listen to anything. Alright, so... There's four areas and then one area, so... I mean, I could technically brute fo uh, force this puzzle, but nah. So, this has a three... <coughs> Sorry, everybody. Uh, this has a green pillar that is three high. Lilka, no! Wait, Lilka, yes! So remember, green three. Green three. Oh, Lilica, no, I see. <laughs> Lilica, yes, you're right at the thing. Okay, this one has a yellow two. As I get ganked by a, probably a book. Oh, two probably. books. Oh. Two books! Double the knowledge. Oh, hey, Spark! Two. Vortex. Uh, also, do we want to rename spells, or do we just kind of want to... Yeah, we did that last time. Let's go ahead and keep them the way that they are this time. Okay. Aqua! break and yes the books are casting uh spells and mm -hmm. yes lilka is a crest sorceress so yes we do have the uh the uh grid based magic learning but it's going to be a little different per se Well, I'm going to heal up Lil' Kef for a bit, because even though she's taking a bit of damage... Well, we've got FP about 50, so let's see what happens to this poor book. 93. I'm going to try and get Lilka up to level 3, which she needs 12 more experience for. So green for uh, yellow 2, if I recall.
blue three. Actually, no, it was green three, blue three, yellow two. It, yeah, I, I didn't have the blue written down, but yeah, I have green three, yellow two. And then you said it's blue three? Blue three. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a note of that. Okay. You okay. were yep, surprised. Green, blue, yellow. Oh no. I know I'm not putting it into chat like we did last time, but yeah. I do have it. And we need one more fight, because that was only eight experience points. Oof. So. Close. 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 Michael knows why I'm going, like, uh, and we have a red one. Literally, red one. Alright, let's see who we have. Oh, we have the jellyfish and a gome. Forgot what the jellyfish's thing was. Uh, I'm presuming some type of shock strike. Bogey. I forgot the name of it. Smack it with your umbrella. And we got seven, so Loka is now level three. Nice. So we are at a actual ex respectable level. And 95 is Loka's health. So, puzzle time! So, red one. Alright, you did say that and I completely spaced it. Red, uh, okay, yellow so two. I got them all now. Yep. Yeah, red one, yellow two, green three, blue three. And we have the towers completed! Now for the final uh, lock. 
And the door opens. Sis. Sis, where are you, sis? I can't leave the gate of this millennium puzzle like this. Soon you'll be linked to the world you came from, so don't worry. Sis, you... Say... Promise... Uh, to... Lilka. I can't hear you, sis! Sis? Oh, boy. Tragic times, everybody. You can do anything with magic if you use it right. Father! Oh, darling, what's the matter? Did you come up with a plan? No, we're stumped. Go figure, eh? I'm sorry, you do seem to be bothered by something. I can help you if you want. Can you tell me what's wrong? Well, for the past few days... See, this giant huge... Uh, thing has been attacking the village by monsters. No villagers have done any harm, but... They fear the night! Tonight's meeting was to discuss the monster problem... Let me help, please. What can a girl like you do? Daddy, she knows how to cast magic spells. Like, magic miss. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just leave everything to me. Your troubles are over. You mean they've just begun? No, frowny face. Yes, an emoticon. <laughs> oh, when the emoticons start being part of the game. Mercs are adventurers who explore ancient ruins and hunt monsters for bounty. They'd be perfect for a job like this. So, we get to try and help out this town. The scary monsters only attack the wheat fields. At least no one in the village has been harmed, uh, harmed so far. But Dad is out patrolling to make sure those monsters don't try anything. You see a book titled Trail of the Comet. Do you want to read it? Read book. Cleaving through the stars is a comet with its long tail. But do you know the difference between a comet and a meteor? A meteor is a meteoroid that is drawn by gravity into the atmosphere. A comet, unlike a star, travels in a fixed orbit and appears at regular intervals. Steeped in mystery, comets have inspired many folktales. Some superstitions claim comets to be bad omens, but no one knows why. Huh. I wonder why that's a book here. I'm sure there's a reason for it. So. Yep. So, the uh, when I mentioned that the game is actually 3D, the actual world is 3D. Also, you want to mm -hmm. see uh, the save point in the real world? Sure, let's see the save point in the real world. Memory service! Welcome to the jobbers that record your game. <laughs> so, dungeons get monoliths. Uh, we get people <laughs> outside of dungeons. I mean, that's not terrible. So, uh, right now, most of these houses are kind of locked up tight. So, our job is just go around town, talk to people, because it's nighttime. I know it doesn't look like that, but it's nighttime. We finished harvesting the all-important wheat that the village economy depends on. Granary is chock full of wheat we harvest. So much wheat! Monsters always come from the northeast. Northeast is an unlucky direction. Bad things always come from the northeast. Okay, Feng Shui Master. And guess where the granary in Palace Village is? Right. Northeast. Northeast, oh. part of town. Yay, I guessed. Also, uh... 
I'm gonna check window design. I'm gonna stick with type A. Also, we can have different icon types. I'm gonna go with type E for the icon design because I like it better. So we're trying to find one more person around here. Bonk. No bonk. Stop bonk. Bonk! Bonk! I say no bonk. I deny your bonk, sir. But does thou bonk at me? Thou dost not bonk. It was about... Yes, exactly a week ago the village was first attacked. I remember it well because we were busy harvesting the palace wheat. And again, northeast, northeast. And the wheat has been harvested. There's something suspicious going on in the northeast. Yep. Let's just sum up what we know, all right? Monsters aren't after the village or the villagers. They're after the wheat harvest. No one has been hurt. The damage is limited to the wheat in the wheat field. Come to think of it, the monsters always appear in the northeast. They're back! The monsters! They are attacking! Right, bro. They're after the granary! So, welcome to Lilka's boss time. Don't panic, just find some place safe to hide. I'll just use explosions. Oof. I'll take care of the monsters with my magic. Young lady, give me a hand. I think that's a literal translation and it should have been dear sister, give me a hand or give me strength. Also, uh, every boss gets this interesting, uh, in type of intro. Boundless glutton monster. All over! <laughs> so, boss monsters can be attacked both, uh, the body and the limbs. The body be uh, bears its name, the boss monster is defeated when the body HP reaches zero. Also, that was Olivier. There was an extra eye in there that, you, that, that changed it from Oliver. Actually, a lot of people call it Oliver, but... So... Okay, well, a lot of people are wrong. I accept that. Horse field kick! Kick. Horse field kick! Yeah, he does not look good at any level. So we have Oliver, and we have his leg. Death to leg! Well, yeah, if it's attacking you with leg, then leg needs to die. It uh, Leg does not like fire. Bufo! Oh no, he snorted on me. Oof. That's unfortunate, knocked out of combat already. Nah. So, legs do not like... Uh, fire, so let's try a freezy the leg. The leg oh, hate do not the like as not particularly effective. Yeah. Olivier juice. You. 
Okay, brief respite to heal up. This is why I won level 3. Is that because Lolka has 95 health? And screw Olivier Juice. Okay, and let's go freeze his leg again. And if you're wondering why I'm purely focusing on his leg, uh, this is something the game doesn't actively tell you, but uh, it's something you can probably figure out very easily, Michael. If it's something you can attack, what do you get afterwards when you defeat the entire fight? Oh, bonus loot? It's bonus EXP, which if you just do the main boss, you do not get it. Ah, interesting. So, yes, we will be punching. Uh, so, Holliver's uh, legs are now gone, so he can no longer do horse field kick. Which was which actually... Now he's going to have to switch to a different technique. Yeah. Which, in this case, he's going to be doing something a little bit more dangerous, which is the Fufu. Con Green! Yes, condition. Oh, con uh, condition. I remember that one. Yep, Con Green still is in the game, as well as they kind of beefed up a bit about having uh, the higher FP, uh, like having max FP, mm -hmm. which means that technically uh, you do take, uh, like you can do more damage, take more damage, kind of things of that nature. And Olivier is Shrinky and Boom. Nice. So we got 100 uh, experience, 500 uh, Jello, and a Big Berry. Ooh. It's so big. I was hoping to get one thing from Olivier, but oh well, whatever. <coughs> oh, hey, look, we're at one hour. We yes, did we it! Are. We beat them! Young lady, you drove them off all by yourself? That's amazing! Young lady, you're incredible! With the power of friendship! Oh, sorry, wrong anime. <laughs> Your magic is all is powerful after all. So it was your magic, eh? I said, yeah, V for victory, sucker. And that is 100% kind of a Wooslyism. Because <laughs> I do mean kind of, because there's stuff in this game that gets un that isn't woozly at all. Well, and I remember that the first game, there was a ton of stuff that was woozly as well. Yeah, but this game actually is kind of the opposite in that there's... There's a couple of Woozlies, like this one, Sucka. So I want to verify. Mm -hmm. um, we're using Woozlyism as a shorthand here, right? Like, this was not actually Ted Woozly's work. This, yeah, in shorthand. Ted Woozly has not worked on this, uh, not worked on this game at all. But we use it to reference because it's something that we're familiar with because of Six. Yeah. Where, as a shorthand for... Wow, the localization team really did that? Yeah. So. We get these nice little... Uh, I'd almost put this like watercolor-esque uh, backgrounds occasionally. For mm -hmm. certain cutscenes. So. I Which don't... is nice. It is very pretty. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Thank you very much. Really. No, thank you. You've helped me so much, too. But are you really all right with only this? We could prepare a better reward. I am in a hurry. Even though you probably have use for my magic, that's why I'm so happy to receive the teleport gem. Huh? Here you go. Excellent. 
And... Big Sis! Will you come visit me again? Of course, I promise. And this time, don't mess up! <laughs> yeah. No, this time, she'll, the next time, Whoop. she'll mess Whoop. up and go the wrong place. Graphics and not go to visit you. The graphics were a little weird there. Oops! My shoelaces! A black cat? What? Oh no. I wonder if she'll be okay. Probably not. So, uh, the black cat is the western version of bad luck, but, uh, breaking a shoelace is the Japanese equivalent of the same thing. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's actually really cool. I did not know that. If I accepted a bag lunch, if I had accepted a bag lunch, that reminds me, I still haven't had breakfast yet. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Also, yeah, maybe I maybe she should have asked for food as well. I'm sure it'll be okay. If I get to the Valeria home, I'm sure they'll feed me. And no, I'm not advancing the text. Now that that's settled, I'll be fine. Just fine. At least that's what I thought. Oh, that's foreboding. So hungry! At least I thought so. <laughs> okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, we have done one intro, and it was fairly quick. All right. I don't remember who I said for a second. I think I said War Criminal. Uh, actually, I thought you said uh, a young did I man. Boy? You said boy? Oh, yeah, boy. no, I did say the young man. So, do you, do you want to change, or do you want to do the young man? No, let's do young man. There's oh. no reason to leave you down. So we're leaving the war criminal for last. I said, young man, get yourself off the ground. <laughs> okay. You can oh, hey, here. look, a truck. Like, an actual, like, truck truck. Like, welcome to Earth modern era. Uh, here's a pickup. Here's a literally... Oh. No, that's not a pickup. That's a freaking army. Uh, that's like a freaking military convoy truck. Yeah. I wonder who's the main character in this. Commander, we now know that the kidnappers are holding the boy hostage up ahead in the old excavation site known as the Withered Ruins. For the time, the final mission check. Musketeer. Oh, yeah, this is very much. Uh, I Sorry, I just got a view of the inside. <laughs> this is 100% spot the protagonist. <laughs> spot the protagonist. <laughs> Musketeer A. Did you hear about the newly formed special unit? Musketeer B. If this mission is inactive, I probably won't get chosen. Hey, you. What are you babbling about? What's your name? Yes. Uh... My name is. Ashley! Wait, the, the young man, the uh, protagonist's name is Ashley? Yeah, his name is Ashley. Ah. So. It's people Sorry, like... Sorry, I just, I was trying to, I was trying to put it into protagonist's voice. Who, me? My name is Ashley. No, uh, I, I probably put Ashley as more of, um, that kind of, like, I wouldn't put it as, like, cloud after the, you know, coming clean bit. So. Uh, he's basically... Uh, for, me, for me, Cloud's voice is always kind of, like, slightly unaffected. Well, when I mean coming clean, I mean, like, after he's admitted that, yeah, he's basically been, has been living the lie the entire time. Yeah. So. Which... In honesty, um, he, he wasn't aware the entire time that he was living a lie. Yeah, but... I mean, yes, he was living a lie the entire time, but he thought it was him. All right. Anyway, uh, it's people like you that are the most dangerous in the field. Don't get in the way. Understand, Ashley? 
people like him. Wow. Way to stereotype, dude, bro. Our third mission is to rush into the ruins where the hostage is held. It's critical to secure the safety of the hostage first. Numerous monsters have been sighted in the ruins, so don't let your guard down. Okay, let's go. Charge! Casually walk up to the ruins. Withered Ruins. This one's a little bit much more sedate, but there is a little bit of a sense of an urgency. Lately, we've been moved around so much, I'm wiped out. The monsters are multiplying here because these treacherous ruins have been left abandoned. Why does our troop have to be the one to get shipped out here? Hey, Ashley, shouldn't we leave the search of the ruins to the mercs? Well, they do know about ruins. It's an emergency. We must act. We actually get a choice here. It doesn't matter, honestly, but... I'm gonna go with it's an emergency. We must act. Forget it, forget it. I'm going out here isn't going to get you promoted or a raise. So, well, we do know about the ruins. Now you're all talking. If Ashley agrees, we'll withdraw immediately. Yeah, no, that guy is immediately a liability. No valuable treasures remain in these ruins. The ruins have been searched away in, by the expedition team called Merc. That's why this place is called the Withered Ruins. I think that's a mistranslation because it should be this. Uh, the ruins have been explored by Merc uh, mercenary teams. Mm. Health official. It's important to carry out our mission. Just don't kill yourself. Free heals. Yeah, calling an expedition team of mercs, calling them merc, is a little... Yeah, that, that's that gotta be a, a translation yeah. over some location. Don't overdo it. Return here before collapsing. My duty is to protect lives. Even if you're defeated in battle, hit continue and you'll be fine. You'll return to the condition you were before the battle and get to redo it. The continue system is convenient, but its use is limited. Each time you uh, hit continue, one Gimmel coin is spent. Gimmel coins are very uh, valuable. Okay. For a second, I thought it was saying that there was a continue system separate from the Gimmel coins. Yeah. So use them wisely. They should only be used as a last resort. And we got Good. a Gimmel coin. We burned one already. Well, we got one back, so we're back at three. And now we're up top here. This information is just in. Kidnappers are three guys who came to town of Maria as laborers to make money. The suspects are originally from Slayheim. That's the name. Slayheim is the western country that was defeated in the war five years ago. Oh. Hasn't the number of monsters been increasing recently? With the world so unstable, it'll only get worse. It's gonna be more and more people like this. And now it is just repeating. Yeah. I yeah. mean, what can you do? And we got a mini carrot! A mini carrot? So, uh, carrots in this game are purely for in uh basically burn to increase your force gauge they're kind of if uh, like kind of super increase value increase as in increase as in you temporarily gain more fp or increase as in it expands your max fp uh boost force gauge by one level aka uh so if i ate a carrot during battle i get 25 points Oh, okay. That's but not terrible. Well, since there's no MP anymore, it's that kind of thing. Yeah, it's essentially, since there is no MP, it's also essentially an ether. Yeah. Uh, looks like this area has been taken over by monsters. Brace yourself! That clumsy fool! 
First guy who ran through the fog fell into that hole there. Could you check Jeez. it out? Hey, someone else just fell through there. You want to go fall through there too? You gonna go fall down? Fall down, go boom. So, <coughs> Ashley is a musketeer, and in a weird sense, Ashley does have an arm. If you remember from the old games. I vaguely do. I remember that was like the super cool weapons. Yeah. In this case, Ashley has a uh, must. Uh, basically, his arm is that musket. Uh, it's actually his his main weapon is a bayonet that he attaches onto it, but he has a arm musket that he has cartridges for. So he... So you can check Ashley here, and... So basically, he has one uh, thing for his bayonet, which is shot weapon. We'll see some differences. But Ashley, since he can't heal... Uh, we... Oh, so since they can't heal, it's a good thing we got all those heal berries earlier. Yep, so we do kind of have to be careful a little bit, but we also have that free heal at the entrance if we do go back that way. Mm -hmm. There's that too. Yep. But, so it's actually a good thing, though, that we did his, we didn't do his first because that allowed us to stock up on healing items. Yep. And kobolds! Okay. Little hoppy hum uh, Humpty Dump boys. But unlike uh, Lilka, who started with like 60 health, uh, Ashley here starts with 80. And a lot more defense. Well, yeah, he's actually, uh, in this case, Musketeer being a melee. Um, character. Yeah. So, obviously, he has reason to have a higher defense. And kobolds have 40 health. Okay, so, yeah, we kind of went around the long way. So, we do kind of have to go help that guy that fell down. But at the same time, eh, we got some nice stuff out of it. I'm gonna go talk to that uh, free healthcare guy so I don't use. What? You're gonna conserve items? Uh, y there's a very good reason this time. And there will be. There's always a good reason to conserve them, and you never do, so. Okay, we're now level two. But, no, I actually do want to keep a lot of my heal berries. And we may not see until, like... I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just mostly shocked. Oh, let's go talk. Usually you're not conserving items. You're burning items. Now... Hey, wake up. Can you stand up? A new recruit, huh? Looks like you messed up. It's because you tried to score big there, so you'd be reassigned to the muted farming. Take it easy. Stay here until your rescue team arrives. You can't do that. Hey, look at that. Whoa! Hey, rookie. This is to celebrate your assignment. Hang on to it. And Ashley gets handed the Hurl Knife. Uh, I think in the original I'm translation... I'm guessing Throwing Knife? Throwing Knife. Yeah, okay. I was like, it was, it's either that or it's so horrible that it makes you vomit when you use it. 
it must, uh, it's a must to have use besides just turning on the switch. Uh, you, you need to figure it out. Okay. I just got uh, told by our illustrious friend, uh, Itrio, that uh, he got stuck at work. I feel bad Ooh. now. Heelberry! Too bad because earlier when we were getting ready to start, we were talking about whether or not he was going to be joining us yeah. and how exhausted he was feeling. So, And that was four hours ago. So if he's uh, still exhausted four hours ago and he's still stuck there, oof. He's probably stuck on a call. Probably. Yeah. But let's see here. Ashley now has a hundred HP versus Lucas seventy-five at level two. So. And. There's an item that will randomly drop, and I do hope an enemy does drop it. But I will not state what that item is in, unless it does drop. Fair enough, I suppose. Yep. Well, time to continue farther into the ruins. I'm surprised there's still chests with item in it. After all the crazy weird shenanigans. Because they said this ruin was stripped bare by essentially mercenaries. Yeah. Damn it! Oh, it's just an enemy. Stab! Oh! Oh no, he missed! Strength Thief! Strength Thief. Uh, no, you're stuttering, obviously, because there's no such thing. Thieves are dex, not strength. It's the thieving oh, of strength. Oh, okay, no, I see. He stole strength, okay. Yeah, the thieving of. Drain, not... Drains STR. Yeah. Watch your footing above here. Watch out for signs of giving. If you all, uh, if you fall by mistake, you'll be held up like me. So, obviously, this was not the place that we wanted to go to. Actually, we want to go up. And yes, the screen does have a compass rose, and we have eight directions in which to point it. So. Oh no, we were surprised. I was so surprised. Were you surprised? I was surprised. I was surprised. Yeah. Stop dodging! Stab! Uh, that is an evasive creature, sir. Its life mission is to dodge. Who are you to tell it it's wrong? Uh, it's a monster, and monsters are there to be killed. You know, that's really inconsiderate. <laughs> Obviously, we need to watch um, One Time I Reincarnated as a Slime. <laughs> we need you to develop some sort of empathy for monsters. Yoberry. Two heal berries. So yes, there are falling platforms in this game. Uh, 
Hey, at least it waited. At least it fell before you were on it. It didn't wait. Yeah. That would have been a jerk move. Flying around here is particularly unstable. Don't sweat, though. Take it slow and proceed with caution. Bullet load! This is, once again, returning from the original game, reloads an arm with bullets. So, yes, Ashley has an arm. And if you're paying attention, you can honestly tell where those blocks are. Except in certain circumstances. But they do not respawn, which means that as long as you pay... You don't have to worry about falling into the trap twice. Yep. Also, I do appreciate that timing of... No, you they're obvious. You don't have to worry. Whoop! <laughs> and then I was like, at certain angles. Because, like, you can see it, one, a couple of those trap blocks right now. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know what I'm looking for, or maybe I'm also just way behind. True. Ah. Uh. All right, here we go. You surprised them. Nice. That's better. So yes, there are back attacks slash surprise attacks. Okay, a as you were saying that you surprised them, mm -hmm. uh, I got to the point where you were getting ready to walk through the door, and I definitely saw the. Brick, one brick that was a lot darker and it looked like it was almost at a different level. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the ones I presume. Uh, they're actually lighter in color and you can see the entire block versus the other ones, which kind of have a gradient to them. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, the health so official. I right, but that's okay. Yeah. The health official's back here. Kidnappers and hostage back. I've done all I can do. I'm leaving the rest up to you. Uh, I am not at level three, but we have a save point here. I kind of want to get a couple more fights in. Hopefully I get another fight in, but I doubt it. Okay, screw it. Yeah, I mean, if you can't get another fight in, I mean, I guess we try with what we got. And I went through the door as soon as I got a fight. Whoopsie. Oh, man. All right. Sturges. Sturges. Oh no. This sap in my strength. I mean, that is what they like to do. Stab. Nice pointy stab. Nice pointy stab. Okay, so we need about three more of those fights, I believe. Oh, hey, look, a switch, but we can't... Oops. I'm an idiot. 
again. Oh! <gasps> how could you? So, how do we stab something that, even at the lowest level, we can't do it? Well, tink drop. Also, falling into pits does not damage you, by the way. It well, just puts... Good. Yeah. It just makes your life awkward, because then you have to redo uh, yeah. some amount of what... Yeah, and now just to look at Ashley's whoopsie, uh, oops pose, it's like, oh! Never made sure walking through. But as long as you're fine with that, life's a party. Yeah. Strength and the stat boosting items have returned as apples once again. Is there a wild arms where they're not apples? I. Uh, hmm. That you can think about clear, uh, without having to stop for 20 minutes to think about it? I actually think uh, Crossfire does not have stat boosting items because that's a tactics game. Oh. Uh, ah. Whoa, how'd this get so blown out of proportion? Our humble little abduction was to bring comfort to our lives. A kidnapping was impossible from us from the start. What do you plan on doing, boss? It's about time those musketeer boys come charging in. Oh, shut it. Uh, shut up, Zook. A real man would do something. Hey, Gerg. Isn't it your job to come up with ideas? After much thought, it's clear that kidnapping isn't our answer. Didn't I say that from the start? What? You giving predictions of disaster before we even start? What a waste of manpower. Wimping out like that. Really? and Kirk. Well, regardless, we've got our trump card. I'll get away no matter what. Boy hostage. Nothing good is going to come from holding me hostage. To start, I have no parents, so who's paying the ransom? <laughs> uh, hey boss, did you hear that? Oh. There goes my hopes and dreams. Hey! Hey! What? Who are you? I've come to save you. Are those three the only kidnappers? Yes. Good. You did well. Yes, and they're just as incompetent as they sound. Do you have a name? Of course I've got a name. So we actually get a name and uh, an NPC here. He's going to oh. stay as Tony. And I'm going to point something out about him once we've gotten a little bit farther in the game. But we're going to keep uh, but this is a actual Wild Arms staple of having a character named Tony in every game. So, in Wild Arms 1, Tony was the carpenter that helped rebuild uh, Adlahide. Oh, I actually don't think I remember the carpenter's name. Yep, I'll t I'll believe you. I just don't didn't remember it. Okay, Tony, quickly, can you work with me? Sure. What do you want? Draw their attention. Sure. Great. We've got a deal. Hey, old man, how dare you treat me this way? You don't have the guts to properly kidnap anyone. What do you say? Hey, you two, grab the bread and shut them up. Well, we just named him, so I'm relatively confident that he's gonna be fine. Catch me if you can. 
Yes, stomp on that thing that looks obviously like a giant huge pressure plate. Ashley, hold it right there. Huh? What? Oh no, Tony, why? So, boss? You, oh no, Tony, why, and then go quiet? How dare you? First and foremost, how dare you? I just predicted that he's going to be fine. Don't you dare do that. Don't put that Sealed out monster weapon. Calivos. Oh. That's why I went quiet. Wah! I don't know why, but I had a feeling something like this might happen. If you keep talking, you'll bite your tongue. Help, please! All three of those bad uh, idiots. Hey, you too. Monster slides into view. So, are we doing this? Or... Uh. <laughs> no, we're. Uh, no, I'm saying as the, I'm saying as the monster. Yeah. They're being all. They're being over there, all the dramatic, and he's like, "So, hey, um, you know, I'm here now. So, are we doing this, or?" Yep, and got the attention, and we're having the guys. Even the kidnappers get out. And Tony's standing there going like, let's get the hell out of here. Radar technician. Commander, a large life form has been confirmed in the ruins. Most likely the trapped monster was released by accident. Unfortunately, a highly volatile liquid explosives have been found in the monster's secretions. Commander, at this rate... What the... Order the soldiers through the ruins to evacuate immediately. A huge explosion is possible, so we can't handle it above ground. To minimize casualties, we must destroy the entire ruins at once. Release the safety on the large arm. I'll authorize the use of the railgun. You mean destroy the entire ruins? But we still have soldiers left in the ruins. It's possible the monster could escape before all of them evacuate. By destroying the ruins, some soldiers won't escape in time. Are you going to let them die? I'll take full responsibility. Dude. I mean, that doesn't really answer the question. <laughs> the question was, are you just going to kill them? And your answer is, oh, it's my... F uh, I'll take the blame. Which, basically, in military speak, is go ahead uh, and start... I'm authorizing lethal force against all targets. And, yes. Uh, and a... Um, blah, blah, blah. If there's if there's evidence Collateral. of war crimes after, uh, afterwards, it's on my head. That's what I was trying to say. I authorize against all targets and collaterals. Yes. Why do we have to... Evacuate immediately. We'll finish things off with a large-scale arm. Large-scale arm needs... But our team is still in the back part of the ruins. If you do that... Well, we know. I won't do it. I can't. This is an Good. order. Good. So moral. I appreciate it. This is an order. If you disobey, you're in violation of regulations. I cannot sacrifice yeah, someone even if orders are wrong. <laughs> even if it's for the larger good, it's not just me. The commander and everyone else here doesn't want that to happen. Our hearts should be one. Please order those remaining in the rooms to evacuate. Even I can manage to stall for time. No. I'll stop this one. Now we have the boss fight. <laughs> Now that we're done with the preamble, finally. Yep. So, Calavos has two claws! Which we want to break both. 
Yep. So, we have Blade Claw L and Blade Claw R. Uh, also, Ashley has Accelerator in this one. Oh, nice. Crossblade Claw. So, I will basically be uh, I will basically be using uh, Accelerator to just pretty much heal uh, Ashley here. So, I can probably get one more hit in on the left claw. R. Con Green. So, Accelerator. Now I will use a Heal Berry. Okay, we've got one arm down, and now we have to deal with Lazar Breath. I'm gonna take one more. Accelerate to Accelerator Heal Berry Ashley. So Accelerator is so uh, uh, is so nice and uh, nice in this fight. I was hoping to have Ashley at level three, but uh, oh well. Okay, 35, I'm not necessarily going to risk it. I mean, yeah, I could probably, probably take... not a bad idea. I could probably take one more laser breath, but since they're sitting about doing 25-ish uh, attack, but... Okay, we've it's now got a risk. the risk. So, okay, I can do one more attack, but I'm going to use Ashley's we uh, shot weapon. And now he's doing 100 damage to the main body. Nice. And he's at 19 health, accelerator, heal berry. Um, I could technically uh, excel uh, I'll use an accelerator and then show off shot weapon because like Jack uh, accelerator does change some of Ashley's arms a little bit <laughs> and he missed so okay one more hit uh, before we uh, use an accelerator to uh, heal up. And now we're down to the berries that Lilka got us in her shenanigans. Mm -hmm. 
69. Nice. <laughs> nice. And... Calavos is down. 100 experience, 550 killa, Ashley is level 3, double big berry! Very nice. And we are at an hour and 46 minutes. Yep, so we got time to start the war criminals path. I'm not sure if we'll get to the save point in time, though. Oh. Plus, we still have some well, cutscene with Ashley. Only... Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we defeated Calavos, and Calavos promptly exploded. But... I mean, I appreciate that. He knows better than to stick around where he's unwanted. And we were able to rescue everybody. It's like, I ignored your orders and took matters into my own hands. I am prepared for my reprimand. I hope so. Your punishment for this incident will be forthcoming. Until then, you're under house arrest. Ooh. Is that all, sir? He literally saved lives, and... Yeah, you have yes. any objections? No, no, sir. As a matter of fact, yes, <laughs> motherfucker, but... And that is how Extremely Long Day ended for me. The new recruit. I did what I thought was right, but it was a violation of orders. I don't believe I was wrong. No one wants to see anyone get hurt. Even though the destination is the same, different people choose such different routes. I don't understand. I just don't understand it. Oh well. With my sentence, I'll have plenty of time to think. So, this drops us off at... Uh, the end of Ashley's route, only leaving uh, the war hero slash war criminal, and we've got 12 minutes. Do you want to just kind of get through it uh, to where we can get to the save point, or save it for later? Yeah, let's push. Let's push and see where we can get. Okay. If we can get to the save point, great. If we can't, we can uh, extend by a couple minutes till we do. So, a former hero, now war criminal. And... Five years ago. Well, considering we just saw how fast the military can turn on you, if they don't like you, if they don't, if you did something against orders, even if you did the right thing. That's strange. I thought we chased him in here. In this weather, even he'd be exhausted. We can't, he can't be very far. Gotta look some more. Call in a bunch of bar guests. We'll chase him out. Escapee. Are they gone? Psst. Reminds me of that other time. But there wasn't any miserable rain then. Yes, blood did get spilled. 
but an air of delusions. If someone doesn't stand up, even more blood will be shed. We'll blast on through. Don't delay a second. That's impossible. Why did we... No, why'd they die for something like that? This is no time to get stingy with the ammunition. I have to survive. My name still has meaning. So. Commander. The search for has recovered these items from point 12 SW. Plus an ID card of a Slayheim, a Slayheim Liberation Army soldier. Here, give it to me. And our mysterious hero turned war criminal goes by the name of Brad Evans. There's no mistake. It's Brad Evans' ID card. Okay, proceed to the recovery point. We must catch him before he gets through the forest. And if we try and go back this way, the way we came... Oh. That's forward. Hmm. The posse. They did better than I expected. They seem to be this side has already been blocked. So, can you guess what type of uh, character Brad's going to be? Um... Given what I have so far to work from, I'm thinking like some kind of like a stealthy kind of character, like a roguey kind of character. Uh, you are wrong, good sir. Oh, he is going to be the tank boy. Oh, he's going to be the tank boy. Yep, because if you notice, his HP starts at 95. Oh, no, see, I didn't. And he's literally punching things in the face. Yeah, Green. see, like, I just got the message that the side's already been blocked. Yeah. That's how far back I am. Oh, Jesus. So now I see the HP, and now I'm getting ready to see him punch a Barghest in the face. Yep. Oh, God. Not another fight with Barghests. Okay, so one... you're going to get a lot of fights with Barghests out here. Yep. And you already see his weapon of choice, which is... Big and punchy. green. Oh, all I saw was punchy so far. Punchy. No, that that's his actual, like, weapon, is that big green fist. Because it's literally called the Iron Fist. I will be saving uh, his special ability, which is uh, Heavy Arms. So, there are items in this forest. Will I be getting all of them? I hope to, but some uh, some I may miss out, but uh, don't worry. Uh, unlike the Millennium Puzzle, we uh, can come back here. It may be um... a while, though.
Brad reached level two. So, the reason why uh, the Millennium Puzzle with Lilka Alright, so Brad has 120 HP. I'll save off a bit. Strength Apple. Like they're hoping for me to use it. I refuse. You what? You can't do that. And do with that, one level, he goes from doing like 45 ish to 65. <laughs> So, Brad is going to be our... Oh, nice! He did 69. Nice. Nice. So, Brad is going to be our literal tank, per se. Oh, hey, boxes. Toss box. And yes, items do still appear in boxes. Come on, Fred, pick up the box. So it looks like Bargast's health is about 65. Uh, you might want to heal yourself there, Brad. But thankfully, he's actually faster than the Bargast. Yeah, I see that as a plus. Yeah. Damn it, no! Stop that! <laughs> Down, boy! Slayheim Liberation Army. Cannot delay. I must get to the other side of the force quickly. So, rookie mistake is jumping straight down on the front of the cliff and not going to the side. That means that you just accidentally set yourself back? Nope. I basically did the right thing and just... Oh. Yeah. You failed upward. I failed the, uh, I failed the right way. 
No, bad bar disc. Okay. Well, I'm saying because you said rookie mistake. Yeah, a rookie mistake is basically somebody just jumps straight off. But you avoided that, okay? Yeah. Okay, I see where we are in the conversation. Okay. Yeah. And heal berries. What? Who's there? Puppy! Oh, Puppy. Come on, don't bark, please. Hey, did you hear something over there? Nah, I must have been the wind. Damn it! Okay, that's a weird thing, Nam uh, Namumi. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to say damn it, but... Also, we do see his uh, ability here in sprite form. Oh, it's just a puppy. Scared me. What a waste of time. Let's go. I'm not going to let the others get all the credit. You saved my butt, buddy. Oh, that took guts. Probably came in the forest to avoid the rain, too. Let's get out of here together. We've got a heal berry. So now we have a puppy. That's a, uh... Now we have a puppy partner, but he doesn't actively have in battle. Huh. Huh, this is a dead end. Old support column. Oh. can't do anything, so let's go to that other path and see what's there. Yes, I already know what's there. It's a building. And a save point. So, I will save here, and then we'll finish Brad's story af uh, next week. Yep. And... Uh, do you want to continue your game? No. I'm just going to show it off this once. 
Cool. So. Yep. And we get some some nice watercolor pictures of Lilka up uh, close. And some like lazy Sunday music going on in the background here. But while this is going on, um, do you want to do the honors, Michael, or should I? So, uh, we will be, I don't know what's going on. That is, are we doing tomorrow? Yes, we are doing tomorrow. Okay. So we will be streaming tomorrow. We may be getting a little bit of a late start, but we will be streaming tomorrow night. Hmm. Uh, I presume we're still continuing with Subnautica. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, it's only it's awkward that I'm doing it when I don't know all the updates. I, do we have an episode coming out of anything? Uh, we had an update uh, of uh, Front Row Geeks Weekly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I saw that one go up. Uh, what about for Front Row Perspective? Uh, that There's one is still being worked on. So, Okay. Uh, in the meantime, if you wish to support us, uh, obviously number one is join us here. Uh, tell your friends about us. They'll come join us too. If you enjoyed it, you can also uh, subscribe. You can use your Twitch Prime if you so are so inclined. Mm -hmm. uh, we do also have, if you'd like to keep up with our news, we have our Facebook, we have our Twitter. We do not yet have an OnlyFans. Stop asking, please. <laughs> uh, we do also have, as we mentioned, our podcast, which can be heard on the podcast app of your choice, be that Spotify or something less interesting. <laughs> uh, and that pretty much wraps us up until next Friday, where... We'll continue with Brad's story and then on to the main one. So, in this case, thanks for joining us for this first uh, episode of Wild Arms 2. And we hope to see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye.